What is up guys, it is Farzy here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to build a graveyard like the one you're looking at right now. I made this one in my Farzy Craft Survival World, it came out really nice, so I'm going to teach you guys how to build one just like it. Okay, here we are in a creative world. Now get about 30 of everything I'm holding, so get 30 cobblestone walls, iron bars, gravel, coarse dirt, mossy stone brick, cracked stone brick, andesite slabs, cobblestone slabs, and spruce leaves. Again, get 30 of each of these blocks. Now the reason I have you getting 30 is so you can get creative with it and not be constrained by the amount of blocks you have. Now we have enough to do whatever we want. So to start out, take out your cobblestone walls. Now place however many down you want in a row. I'm going to do four on each side. So put one down, do a space of two, and on the third block another one. So I'm going to do four on each side. So here we go, three, here we go, four, then go across by let's say like five or six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That should be good right there and put them in the same exact placements. Next up, it's time to take out your iron bars and make a giant rectangle around this entire graveyard. Now once that's done, you're going to bust in a door frame on both sides if you want. You don't have to, but I prefer the door frame. Now, take out your gravel and go in front of each gravestone under that block and the one under it like that and put gravel down there. So under the gravestone and the one under that block just like this on every single gravestone. All right, now it's time to go crazy with the coarse dirt, the two kinds of stone bricks, and the two kinds of slabs. Now what you're gonna do is place all kinds of random blocks around the place inside the walls. Don't really go too much outside, maybe a couple outside here and there, but mostly inside. But here's the catch. Use your slabs to go lower into the ground on some of them, on just a few. So I can have some slabs that are double stacked and look like that. I could have some that are down one. Do all different kinds of cool things, but make sure you don't just do it one specific kind of way. Okay, now that that's done, all we have left is the spruce leaves. So, take your leaves, make some little piles along the outside here and there, just kind of weird little formations of leaves like so, and have a few of them, like this, raking over. Have them coming in. Don't just do like this where you're making straight lines. Cut off the corners so it looks kind of more like natural, naturally just coming over, but make some of these weird little piles like so, and it really makes a creepy effect. Now this is basically it. This is basically your graveyard, but if you want to add some more details, get out some jack-o'-lanterns and some signs. These are just optional, but I like to put some jack-o'-lanterns around the sides to kind of give it like a creepy, almost Halloween kind of look. Even though it's not really a Halloween build per se, it kind of reminds me of Halloween, so I prefer to just kind of sprinkle these around the place. And after that, take out your signs and make your gravestones. So let's say I had someone named Carl who passed away. I'll put RIP Carl here and do that for all of these for everyone that you want to put in here. Sad, but that's what gravestones are for. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoy your graveyard. It's simple, but it looks creepy, and it looks really good at night. So definitely come back here at night and check it out. Well, on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.